Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about these things and we're going to be talking about specific things to rank higher on Etsy within 30 days or less. Five easy peasy things you can do today to help you rank on page one within the next 30 days days. This is not any ordinary <laughs> Etsy SEO video where it's like, okay, I'll do that thing in like two weeks or maybe like three months or maybe, no, these are things that are going to give you as quicker impact as they can. So if you like the sound of that, please do give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment. Let me know what is your shop? What do you sell? And are you excited for this? Because I certainly am. So the very, very first thing that you can influence yourself. And I know that when I say that, I'm I'm getting in my head that there's a lot of you that are probably like feeling right now sat there watching this or stood there walking whatever <laughs> how are you watching this let me know that you feel as if the Etsy algorithm and where you rank is very much out of your hands but with this video I really want to just kind of talk about how it actually that is not the case it is totally in your hands and step one is something that really goes along with this so the customer and market experience score is completely in your hands, okay? So this is all about getting more five-star reviews, essentially making sure that Etsy sees people love your shop. When they buy from you, you are giving them a five-star stellar experience, okay? And I know that a lot of you out there might be sat there thinking, yeah, I know that stuff, but they just don't leave reviews. Well, actually, you can totally message them and remind them up to 60 days after they purchase, because that is a kind of window that you have, just to remind them to leave a review. Now, I've actually made a video that you can send to your customers within that message that shows them, walks them through exactly how to leave a review. So there will be no excuse <laughs> when they say they don't know how to leave a review. So message them and say, hey, thank you so much for your most recent purchase. As a small business owner, I really heavily rely on the feedback that I get from my wonderful customer. So I would love it if you wouldn't mind taking five minutes or even like two minutes out of your day to leave me a review. It would really mean the world to me and put something fun in there as well. Like I'll do a little happy dance when you <laughs> leave me a five star review and then leave the link to the, the video, which I will leave below this one. And then just send that across because even just doing that, some people just need reminding. And although some people will leave a review pretty much straight off the bat, there may be others that don't. Now, if you notice, and I don't know if you guys have been on Etsy for a while or not, but if you notice that whenever you get a five-star review on a particular product, it tends to get a little tiny bump. Well, that's what I have found in my testing anyway. So bearing that in mind, please do make sure to send reminder emails or messages to your customers, because this is really gonna help your customer and market experience score ranking on your Etsy shop. The next thing is to complete your about section and shop policies. Now, completing the about section, I'm sure Etsy are just wanting you to put something in there, but I actually want you guys to go one step further. Listen, people buy from people. People don't buy products, they buy from people. The more honest, open and detailed you can be in your about section. And please guys, use images and video in your about section. Show your workspace show you making the item, please, please, please. And even if you have no idea what to do, show the item in use. This is a bud vase that I've bought and I am using it for lavender. Take a picture of this or take a picture of you holding it like this. There's so many things that you guys can do within your about section to get that human to human connection. Not only is that gonna actually increase your conversion rate, but also Etsy's gonna like it and put your shop higher in search results. And also your shop policies as well. A confused buyer doesn't buy, okay? A confused mind doesn't buy. So if your shop policies are not filled out and people are not really sure on your returns policy, what will happen if they have a problem after their purchase, they're just not gonna buy from you. And Etsy knows this, which is why they are basing your ranking on those two things as well. So make sure to fill out your about section and your shop policies in full as well. Boss 
bosses, we've been having some really great conversations in today's video. However, I'm here to tell you about this. This is called your conversion rate. And I've actually made for you in the description box below a free 90 minute conversion rate masterclass. So I'm just gonna quickly explain to you in one minute why this is important. Okay. So this is your Etsy shop and these are your customers. So let's say that you get 100 customers into your store and you have a 1% conversion rate. That means you get one sale and roughly that's gonna be about 30 bucks to 30 pounds. But what happens when we increase that conversion rate to 2%, 3% and above this suddenly doubles, triples, quadruples without you having to change anything. Now, getting customers into your store costs time, effort and money. But what if you didn't have to change this, you didn't have to change your shop, all you had to change was this conversion rate. That is what I'm gonna be teaching you in today's masterclass. So whether you're a newbie or a seasoned Etsy shop owner, get yourself down below and register for that masterclass so you can increase this number. Back to the video. The third thing is to plan ahead for holidays coming up within the next three months. Now, ideally you wanna do this like for the next three to four months and that is kind of in advance how much you want to put your keywords in for things like Valentine's Day, Christmas, wedding season. But I really want you guys to think about keywords for holidays coming up. Don't do it like two weeks to a month before and expect there to be a massive income rush of people coming to buy your Halloween products or your Valentine's Day products. Because a lot of people get shopping done three to four months before, not only that, but it can take up to 90 days for Etsy to completely crawl and rank your listings. So if you're doing it like two weeks to a week before, you're actually completely missing the boat. So that is the next thing. There's always going to be something for every single niche on Etsy. There's always gonna be something that you guys can use or can utilize. There's always gonna be some kind of occasion, holiday event coming up so brainstorm at least three to four per year you will have three three to four events per year that you can use different keywords for depending on the holiday or event okay so plan ahead to have keywords for upcoming holidays. The fourth thing is to consider your customer journey. This is something that a lot of people don't really understand when it comes to keywords. So instead of talking about complicated SEO stuff and long form, you know, short tail, long tail keywords, I'm just gonna put it in a real simple way. You have Bob, okay? Bob is looking for this Bud vase. I'm gonna use this again. His name's Buddy, by the way. Um, <laughs> so Bob is looking looking for this, okay? But when Bob first comes to Etsy, Bob is probably gonna go, I don't really know how to describe this, I'm gonna put vase. So he literally just puts a one word search, vase. Now what many Etsy sellers will do is that they will actually just go, oh, vase has a lot of searches, I'm gonna use that as my primary keyword, job done, yes, awesome, I'm gonna get lots of views. But what they don't know is that that keyword has so incredibly a high amount of competition that this listing is just gonna get lost, okay? But instead what Bob does, so Bob will put that vase search in and he'll find wooden vases, bamboo vases, long stemmed vases, glass vases, Vases and, he, and he's like, that's actually not what I want. So instead he will type in green vase and then that, so he's adding more keywords to his search so that he's saving himself time by scrolling through the thousands of search results that are coming through just for vase, making sense. And then he might say clay green vase. And that is what Bob is gonna describe this. And then he's like, you know what? I want a bud vase, clay green bud vase, okay? So I really want you guys to consider your customer journey when it's coming to your keywords. Don't use things like jewelry, necklace, handkerchief, like no single or maybe even double keyword phrases. Use longer tail keyword phrases that people are actually using. I'm not saying use like, green bud vase with holes in for lavender because no one's gonna be using that keyword phrase. However, 
consider your target audience and consider their buying journey. And this is something that everyone should be doing, but I don't think not enough people are. Don't worry about the complicated SEO structures and all that kind of stuff. Just consider there are real human beings that are searching for your product. And that is all you need to know about. Think about their journey, literally get a piece of paper, get, get, a, get a pen and go A to Z and just map it out what kind of search terms they are gonna be using. You don't necessarily need complicated SEO tools to do this okay and I think that that is something that is might ruffle a few feathers because I know that there are some people on YouTube that are like you must have Marmalade you must have E-Rank I personally do like E-Rank but I think the bottom line is that you don't need a complicated SEO tool to really do this and the last thing is to sprinkle keywords in your descriptions now listen I know Etsy have very recently made this official but actually us in Handmade Bosses and you guys who've been with me for a while, we've been talking about this for like two years. We have always said, because Google actually ranks your descriptions on Etsy and always kind of have done, to sprinkle your keywords in your descriptions. If you've been with me for a while, you don't need to listen to this tip, you've already been doing it. But however, if you are new here, hello, um, sprinkle your keyword phrases in your description. And what I would actually do is I'd concentrate on the first third of your description, okay? So guys, I really, really hope that you enjoy these quick fire tips and tricks and things for you to rank higher on Etsy within 30 days or less, okay? Leave me a comment. What do you sell in your shop? What was the most important tip for you? What have you implemented? What has worked? And also do not forget to check out the free training below. Three easy steps to make more Etsy sales in your shop by increasing your conversion rate. Completely free training. Like something like 8,000 people have been through this training and absolutely love it. So don't forget to get your free space in the boxy box below. But for now, guys, I will catch you in the next video. Bye, everyone.